the dead. It's a holiday in Mexico that celebrates the dead with friends and family telling stories and praying. Talking about death makes some people uncomfortable, but as Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us, that is encouraged in one local class. Today we're celebrating the lives of loved ones that we've lost um, for Dia de los Muertos. So yesterday we got the oferta ready. The ofrendas, the altar to remember the dead, and that's what students did today. This is my grandma, and um, she died in 2010. She was part of a jazz band, and sh her name, her stage name was Too Juicy. And <laughs> <laughs> there were several grandma and grandpa stories. He used to come up behind us when we were little kids. He would take our hair in his hand and he would go and he would say ding 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 <laughs> sharing memories with friends makes talking about death easier such as the death of a classmate who died of brain cancer in the fifth grade Natalie came to school one day with no hair but she still looked beautiful and still cared about everyone else more than herself and I still want to be like her every day Jaliah doesn't talk much about her parents, who died when she was eight, a week apart, both due to violence. Today, she shares good memories. Like we had this little, I won't say hobo, but this lady, she always comes to our house and asks for a plate or something, and my mother came, like brought her in the house and like gave her food and stuff. And I think that's what I get from her. It really was like a good feeling because they was there like comforting me about it and everything. So I, I feel really happy about that. I know there's other kids out there that probably lost their parents. And I want to get my story out there to let them know they're, they're not alone. So I want to leave them with that maybe they did come overnight and visit the altar that we worked very hard yesterday to make for them. And maybe they are watching over us and we can have this one day a year uh, to spend with them. And that seems to be exactly what happened. I miss him and I love him and I hope that he is here today and that he, everybody is here today watching over us. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. Finneytown High School has students from more than 35 countries.